This video is kindly sponsored by Uppercase. Thank you for supporting the K Digital Studio YouTube channel. As more and more people stumble upon my videos of my iPad first workflow, I've gotten questions about how I really incorporate the iPad into my day-to-day -day life as a content creator and business owner. So I thought showing an average day in my life would best show how I use my iPad and the value I get from it being such an integral part of my workflow. So the biggest part of my workflow is design. I create and design digital planners that can be used in PDF markup apps like GoodNotes, Notability, and other related apps. These digital planners are hyperlinked so you can click between the tabs and buttons and have a really immersive experience. And it's similar to that of a paper planner because you can handwrite, add digital stickers, and really make it your own in a way that you can't with traditional automated digital calendars. I also create digital stickers, fonts, Procreate tools, and a lot of other digital products. Over on YouTube, which I guess is here, I create videos walking you through the process of digital planning and how my life has changed with the iPad and hopefully share ways in which the iPad can help you be more creative, productive, and solve some problems for you. As someone who does this full-time and sets her own schedule, my days vary drastically and I jump between tasks a lot because I find I work best in little bursts. Once I find myself twiddling my thumbs or something, I switch to another task, have another little workaholic burst, and then repeat the process, which allows me to work on a lot of ideas that keep me up at night. And the iPad is the main way I get it all done. So to start the day, I normally get up naturally whenever my body isn't tired and is ready to get out of bed, which will also vary depending on how late I stayed up the night before and if I was able to fall asleep. And I usually get right to work, it's just how I function. Not really big into slow mornings, but I am big on slow afternoons and chill evenings. That's just how I work. I start by checking in with my iPad. This typically means either looking at Notion, which essentially serves as the database for my business. I have everything in there from my weekly schedule to a map for all of my content, and even a checklist for things I need to get started on the second my head comes up off the pillow. Or I'll check in with my digital planner, which is more like my supporting calendar. I write out my detailed ideas and my schedule in there and break down the day in chunks. So it's helpful to review that and make any changes depending on what I feel like I can accomplish for the day. And I use my digital planner in the GoodNotes 5 app, which is probably my second most used app on the iPad. It's a great app for simple note taking, but I use it for so much more and a lot of it is digital planning. After that, I usually jump into emails, which I'll either respond to on my iPad or my computer. Though responding to emails on my iPad is a bit more fun and feels like a lot less work than on the computer. It's typically responding to customer support tickets that I receive during the night or emailing companies and brands for collaborations. So I like to set aside at least an hour in the morning to catch up on emails since that's almost become a full-time job in and of itself. Once I have my emails answered on this day, I was working on digital stickers that I am releasing soon in the shop. My favorite app to illustrate and work in is Procreate, which might come to no surprise to those who own an iPad or have seen a bunch of iPad videos. Procreate is a popular app and it's one I've been using for over three years now for creating digital stickers, templates, fonts, and just all kinds of stuff. I even create my own promotional graphics and website elements, photos, and just all of that in Procreate too. And as someone who also creates brushes and stamp sets for Procreate, I'm in the app every other day, if not every day. At this point in my day, it's usually mid to late afternoon where I like to take a break. I'll check in a notion on the iPad, see what's left on my list for the day and update as necessary. Once I've had my break, which usually just looks like lunch, I'm back on my iPad for a day of designing digital planners. I have an entire course dedicated to creating digital products beyond that of digital planners, but I also offer a course on Skillshare just about creating digital planners if you're interested in my process. But I create and design digital planners in the Keynote app on my iPad, which is essentially PowerPoint, but by Apple. I do have the entire Adobe suite, but I honestly prefer working in Keynote on my iPad. It has everything I need and I can work really fast on my iPad in the Keynote app. I've also created templates and worksheets in Keynote, and Keynote is also how I've created my media kit and instruction guides that I include when customers purchase from my shop. This is an app I spend quite a bit of time in just because creating digital planners can be pretty time consuming since I put a lot into each. 
and this took up essentially the rest of my day. And because I work on my iPad often for hours at a time, I get a lot of hand fatigue and cramps, which is why when I discovered this, I was so pumped. I've tried other silicone grips and sleeves and wasn't a fan of them, so I was hesitant actually to give uppercase a try, which I'm so glad I eventually did because I'm finding it impossible to find anything I like better. Not only is my experience a lot better when working on the iPad with the nimble grip and the nimble sleeve, but my hands aren't getting tired as quickly and I have more control over my Apple Pencil, which is particularly important to me since I am drawing and designing so much on the iPad. Uppercase also offers other accessories for more than just the Apple Pencil on their website. And if you find something you like, then you can use my coupon code KDS15 to save 15% off your purchase on the Uppercase website. That was all I was able to work on on this particular day before it started getting late. So usually at this point in the day, I like to revisit my digital planner and my Notion dashboards once more to see what's on schedule for tomorrow and the week ahead. I'll make any necessary changes and mark down my habits for the day. My iPad is more than just a tool for me for designing and keeping tracks of all things biz, but it also helps me to stay on track with my goals and habits that I make note of in Notion and in my digital planner. It feels more engaging to have it on my iPad and to have quick access to it and everything else that I need. So that was a typical day in the life with my iPad as a content creator and business owner. I am using the M1 iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch size. I have used other iPad models and sizes, but I really enjoy the speed, performance, and the size of my 12.9 for the work I do day to day. If you like this video, then you'll like my other iPad videos and I'll have those linked in the description below. I also have one all about my iPad first workflow and iPad comparison videos that you should check out. Happy to start a conversation in the comments. So if you have any questions at all about the iPad or my workflows, drop them below and I'll meet you in the comments. Please subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one and I will see you next week with another one. Bye.